Hey there, Paul James here with Income Alliance. First and foremost, thanks again for stopping by my blog, checking out my videos. I really appreciate that. I hope that you had a great Christmas um, and we've got New Year's coming up here and I hope that you have a great New Year's as well. I'm really looking forward to an exciting 2015. Um, I've just got so many big things planned. I'm just trying to plan out um, in addition how I can bring you guys as much value as possible. Um, one of my goals for 2015 is to just make life easier, get you guys more results, and just help you guys see more success than ever before. Um, so that's just one thing that I'm going to really focus on. Um, I really thrive off of that. So I do have a link below this video before we get into this video. I have a link below it that um, it's just basically I want you to click it and here's the deal. I've got a new team of programmers that are very, very talented and um, they just helped me wrap up a project actually that I was working on and they just did an amazing job. I mean, it's some of the best software uh, and, and programming that I've ever seen. Um, so I want you guys to tell me if I were able to bring you a piece of software that would make your life easier, um, that would streamline things, what would that software look like for you? You know, what would it do? So just click that link and let me know um, because with this new talented team of programmers that I have, and obviously with my customer base, I would be able to bring something to market for you guys that would extremely help you out um, for a really affordable price because I'd be able to bring it to the masses. So let me know. Um, but this video isn't about software. Well, I guess it kind of is. Um, it's more so about WordPress. So as internet marketers, I feel like we're raised on WordPress. I kind of feel like it's something that uh, we're just taught as an industry standard and you know we're all using it, it seems like. The problem is, is that with WordPress comes a lot of security vulnerabilities. And um, quite frankly, it just, it gets really old. Um, sites are constantly getting hacked. Uh, they're constantly getting, you know, like SQL injections and stuff like that. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take some time and just show you some of the little tips and tricks of the WordPress best practices that I use to, to try and keep my sites as safe as possible. Obviously, we still have problems once in a while, but this seems to work pretty well. So if you follow these steps, I think that you'll find you're having a lot less issues. Um, you're not going to put your sites at risk as much, and uh, it's just going to be better all the way around. So I'm in my cPanel account here for one of my sites, and the very first thing that I want you guys to stop doing is stop using Fantastico Deluxe. Um, I've taught to use Fantastico Deluxe for a long time. I was taught to use Fantastico Deluxe when installing WordPress. Um, but the fact is, is I've heard that it leaves huge footprints and those huge footprints that it leaves makes it easy for uh, people who are looking to mess with people who have WordPress sites. It makes it easy for them to hack into it. So you should stop using Fantastico Deluxe. Um, an alternative, I guess, is this Softaculous, which is, is pretty cool. Um, not certain whether or not this won't leave footprints or not either. The very best way to do it without leaving any footprints would be to go to wordpress.org forward slash download and actually just download WordPress and install it manually. So that would be the best way. But if that's confusing to you, I'd rather see you use Softaculous, like if it's going to keep you from not installing it at all, then use Softaculous. It's, it's pretty straightforward. You just hit install and uh, you choose where you want it. It, it kind of looks like Fantastico Deluxe still. Um, Pretty straightforward. When you do use uh, Softaculous, I recommend that you um, get this Limit Login Attempts plugin install, which is one thing that we're going to talk about. Um, but if you are going to go the manual way, I can kind of give you a quick walkthrough of it. And if you really want, I could probably make a separate video. Um, you could let me know in the comments below if that's something that like you absolutely really want to see. Um, but if you were going to install it manually, what you would want to first do is go into um, your SQL databases and create a SQL database and you'll want to create a SQL user um, and when you create that user you need to assign all privileges to that SQL database that you created um, so basically it just kinda looks like this you come in here you name your database you hit create then you come down here 
you hit add user, create a password, and then you select the user here, select the database you just created, and you hit add. And when you hit add, it'll ask what permissions you want to give that user to that database, and you just click to give them all permission. So you'll want to note down the database name, note down the database username and password, and then download the WordPress zip file, unzip the information. There will be a configuration file um, when you download this. I could show you that really quickly. Okay, there's going to be this file right here, WP config sample. So you'll want to open this up with a text editor. I use Text Wrangler. All right, and, and right here, it says database name goes here, put in between the little quote marks, username here, password here, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. You want to then save that file and then rename it and take the sample off of it, just like this. And then now you can just FTP these straight into the um, you know the HTML directory of your WordPress site, the home directory. And now when you visit the site, it'll take you through the WordPress installation. So it's kind of like one extra step versus using something like uh, Softaculous. Um, but you know then you'll be guaranteed to not leave any footprints at all um, from the install, which of course is going to make you a lot safer. So that's one suggestion that I recommend. Um, you experiment with, and if worse comes to worse, use Softaculous over Fantastico because you're going to be uh, a lot safer that way. So once you actually have the site installed, number one is always make sure your WordPress installation is up to date. Um, and that goes for anything pretty much that has to do with the computer. If it's not up to date, there's a chance that you have security vulnerabilities that are going to be left open because um, Typically, when there's an update made, it's because there's some kind of exploit or something that went wrong and they're trying to fix it. The same goes with your plugins. When you come into your plugins folder here, you'll notice that there'll be a little update button underneath it if any need to be updated. And up here where it says active, there will be another tab that says like updates. And you can click that, you can select them all and hit update, and it'll update them all at once. So you want to make sure that your plugins are always up to date, all of them. So WordPress site, always up to date. Plugins, always up to date. Um, I recently got hit with a security vulnerability on this site that I'm on right now because I didn't keep my plugins up to date. I was using this plugin called RevSlider. And it was a really, really nasty malware that hit that site. Um, it infected everyone pretty much who had that RevSlider installed and didn't update it. And what happened was it put malware on all the sites that were in that directory because I had a shared hosting account. So it hit all of my sites. Um, so really nasty and it could have been prevented by just keeping my plugins up to date. So you're probably wondering, well, if I've got you know 50 sites, how am I going to keep all of these plugins up to date? Well, this is where a tool comes in called WordFence, which I really like um, and I've been using it on all of my sites. And before we move on to WordFence too, I should note, I always use this plugin as well, limit login attempts. What this does is when people come into, um, if someone is trying to hack into your site like brute force it, it will only let them try four times and then it'll block their IP address, which is kind of cool. Um, so I recommend this plugin as well. But on to WordFence. WordFence will not only scan your site and it's free, um, they have paid versions, but I just use the free version. They'll not only scan your site and you can scan it to make sure it doesn't have any malware, scan it every so often, um, but it's got like this live tracking to tell you if you're at risk ever or if you know anything does happen. Um, so if we come into the options tab here, you can choose where you want the email alerts to go to right here and it will always email you. I normally keep this set on security level two. All right, so that's what I just leave it set on. Um, and I think that's how it comes out of the box. But it's got these different alerts that you can choose. It'll show you when, ever, when a user signs into your site. So if someone does sign into your site and gets a hold of your password, you'll know it. Um, it'll tell you when someone's locked out from signing in because they've, they've signed in too much. Um, it'll also tell you when your plugins or WordPress version is out of date um, or any kind of vulnerabilities that you might be exposed to so that you can hop in there right away and update them. 
Um, so really, it's it's a really neat plugin. I highly recommend it. And like I said, I just use the free version, and it's worked out really well for me. So that's what I would recommend. These are just some WordPress best practices. Um, I just wanted to make this video for you since I recently got hit by that vulnerability. And um, you know, I'm not a security expert or anything like that. Um, but when I follow these practices, I seem to be all right. When I slack off on them, that's when I run into problems. And um, but all right, thanks for checking out this video. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, thanks again for stopping by. Have a great new year. And I'm looking forward to 2015.